Hey Virgo, welcome to this dirty party, dirty party reading. So let's find out what's going on with this situation, right? So we're gonna have uh, because it's so complex, a third party reading with so many people involved. We're going to call it by parts. So first, we're gonna start figuring out what's going on with the. Uh, person in the middle okay is the one that's having two relationships here what's going on with them right now right here it's a uh, two of spears or two of wands let's see what's going on with one party here of the relationship with them king of coins and what is going on with the other party of the relationship? Three of Swords. So to clarify, I like to call it this way because in a third party reading, we never know who the viewer will be, right? They can be the one in the middle. They can be this one or that one. So depending on the card, the spirit is going to talk to you. I'm just going to tell what the cards are saying. And you're going to figure out which one matches for you. Cool. Let's try that way. So the person in the middle is the one having both relationships here. And right now they are waiting for some kind of communication or anxiously waiting for something. Uh, okay. Um, the party number one here on the left is king of coins and this is showing as a stability in commitment right here um, the person is sitting beautifully there on there with a lot of uh, honor basically uh, or comfortable very comfortable over there not sure if they know or not about the other party now this one certainly knows about the other party because they are heartbroken and to be honest here i think the person in the middle is really concerned about that one because see they're looking at that direction um probably they are expecting news from the heartbroken party like to see what's going on with them all right so let's keep going and find out some more what is party number one here, the king of coins, uh, feeling for this person in the middle right now? What's up? What are they feeling? Uh-huh. The wheel of fortune. They're feeling a big change or a karma or lucky or destiny, destiny or fate. They feel like the other party is out debt or a big change as well. Let's see what it, the um, the other party, the party, the person in the middle, feels about the party number one. Wow, they feel like the party number one is, guys. I'm I'm I was suspecting this already in the beginning. Okay, because the party number one here is sitting comfortably with the pentacles and that's a lot of commitment. So I, I was feeling, and that sounds like it's right. Uh, this person, the party number one can be the married one, the main relationship here. But it's hard to say. It could be because this is how this person feels for them. So maybe they're not. They're maybe not the main one, but they are definitely the most comfortable one and the most invested and the most committed. Uh, and for sure, the, this part here feels like marriage with this one. Oh my God, they're, they're having a fire. Uh, oh my God, fire play. Uh, uh, okay, sorry about the noise, guys. It's fire fireworks here so cool uh all right so let's keep going and 
let's figure out what mm -hmm, what party number three feels for uh, the person in the middle. They're in self-defense mode. Okay, they're standing up for themselves. They're in very much self-defense. They are ready to attack too for any kind of for all the hurts they're having here. See, they're standing alone, but they're fierce. They're on it. They're not going to be wanting to be messed with. Um, what is the party number three? Oh, what is the person in the middle feeling for party number three? Well, yeah. That is the person, guys. That is the... They're feeling like they had a lot of fun with them. I think that is the non-official. It's so clear here, guys. Look at their feeling of the person in the middle. This one is the commitment. They're probably getting ready even to get married if they're not yet. Okay, the stability. And this one is the fun. The heartbreaker. Um for some reason here or or maybe it's not even not even had a heartache it was just demonstrating that they are the non-official uh party the side one because again it confirmed here by the way the person in the middle feels about them okay it's three of cups so in this kind of reading is a sure thing that is the a third party anyways i want to know a little more let's me let me clarify with uh, the tarot of the sexual magic uh, so we can figure out the sexual energy between these people what is the sexual energy between party number one and the person in the middle Mm. Mm. the page of uh, cups okay you can see here the page of cups there's other people here on the side like behind them third party right um, yeah so there's a cup of love, a message of love for this person. But, yeah, they do have someone else. Hmm. But this is sexual, right? So it's not like a, it's a sex, sex with emotions kind of type of thing with love. Uh what is the sexual energy between the person in the middle and the third party? Over there, the party number two. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, is death. So, that's why this person is in self-defense mo mode here. I think they're going to terminate with them. They're going to end because they're going to marry this one. They're going to go for this party here. Okay. Mm. Let's then find out. Okay. What is party number one here? Talking up with their most confident friends. With their most, the closest friends or family members. About the person in the middle. What did they talk about? Okay. They say that they're the man or the woman, right? It's just a male energy here, meaning they are strong, they are successful. This is the CEO, the you know, the person who runs their own business, like but in a, in a third party, this is the dominant dominant um energy, successful, uh bossy, uh dominant. So that's what they tell people. They tell that, you know, they are their king. Okay, because the emperor is the reunion of all the kings of tarot. What does the person in the middle tell people, their closest friends or family, about party number one? Wow. They tell them that 
they're blind, they don't know what to do, they're indecisive, they're between these two people here and they do not want to make a decision that they are quiet about it, that they're not going to say anything. For everybody to shh. <laughs> what is party number three there? Um, what is party number three talking about person in the middle to other people? Well, well, party number three is very resent resented. I think they just found out maybe they just broke up and uh, maybe the person already started seeing someone. I don't know, but you can see that they are telling that they are they wear a mask, they are sneaky, basically they they are gossiping and brown. They're telling they're basically almost like smear campaign the person in the middle or they are basically also probably um is, you know uh getting information about the part in the, the the person in the middle through social media and all kinds of stalking you know like to find information. What is the part, the person in the middle telling other people about party number two there? Mm. Wow. Yeah, guys. I think they're going to break up with them. That's why the death card is here. That's why we have that. Um, hmm. Hmm. Maybe this person in the middle starts seeing this person here because this one was cheating. Could be too. Because look, heartbreak, this, this. Hmm. And now the justice. They may be saying, or they may be saying that this party here is not fair with them. It's not fair what they've been talking about them. But justice is usually... A card of, you know, contracts, agreement, paperwork, um, you know, stuff like that. But uh, it could indicate divorce, too. I don't really know, uh, Virgo. I would love to hear from you what you can tell me about this. Um, so I can have my readings more accurate. Well, let's find out the possible outcome. Remember, possible doesn't mean it's set in stone. Things change. Energy is fluid. There's free will. But what is the possible outcome between the person in the middle and party number one? Wow. The Empress. That's abundance. Victory. Daenerys Targaryen here could be pregnancy. Maybe that's why they're getting married. That's the big change here. Huh. Could be something like that, guys. Beautiful woman. Strong woman. A mother figure. Anyways, uh, I know the lightning is kind of weird, right, guys? Sorry about that. Mm. Anyways. What is uh, the possible outcome between party number three and the person in the middle? Also victory, guys. But who knows which kind of victory. Maybe the victory of getting divorced. And... Mm. Why don't we clarify, right, Virgo? I know Virgos, I know you would like to know something and... You like it to be right. So let's clarify for you, Virgos. I love you guys. Let's go. What is the Six of Spears doing there? Hmm? Wow. Yeah. No. Uh, you know, um, because I don't read reverse, this could also be defeat. Okay? It's both sides of the same coin. Um, 
but if it was the fit other card would show up this can be accomplishment pride being honored um it's, it's a lot of meanings and with this clarification here though oh it's so clear right now guys missed opportunity okay it's a missed opportunity meaning i think this person is definitely going to be ending this 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 side here is gonna end up ending look at this she's this person here is grieving the third party here they're very sad they regret mm. how about the empress there what does it mean clarify please clarify 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 yep could be kids again the sun and the empress who could be pregnancy could be marriage happiness lightning like clarity the truth yeah virgo so tell me which party were you here please tell me in the comments would love to know have a great day bye